Well, guys, it's a little cold out here. You can see my breath. It's cold. Um, we are going fishing today. We are going to be going out, right, Trap? Yeah. Going out fishing. And we are going to torture test the brand new ICX-5 that we came out with last year. And we're going to bring it to work on some big old smallmouth. We know it can catch panfish. We know it can catch walleyes through the ice. But the question is, can it handle five pound smallies right now in the fall when they're going nuts? So check out this rigging, guys. We have live bait here. So we've got a power cord running all the way from the boat plug-in to the back of my truck. So that way we can actually have the recirculation on with the live wells and keep our live bait ready to rock. Let's go to the lake. Woo. Good morning, YouTube. It is bright and early. Uh, I got up at about 3.30 this morning and we are making a drive to go fishing. Well, we are just rolling up to the launch right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything unhooked to get the boat in the water and go and see if we can beat up this ice reel on some big fish. All right, guys, so here is the deal. This little guy is the PC Fun ICX-5. This is a tiny little ice fishing reel. Definitely not something you would want to put in this position normally. Not built for catching big fish like this, but you know, it's always nice to torture test your equipment and really understand and find out what it can handle. So today we're going to torture test this bad boy, hopefully on some five pound smallies. Uh, what we're using today is a Carolina rig or a sliding sinker rig. And we're using these minnows right here, doing some live bait action. It's great in the fall. Uh, we got water temps all the way down to 57 degrees. So the fall bite should definitely be on today. Trav, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Ready to catch some fish? Yes, sir. All right, let's, let's do this thing right here. Basically all we're doing guys is we go and we find uh, contours and sharp breaks and things like that. And what we do is we just troll along those areas, you know, and we just kind of drift and drag minnows. That's really all we do. It's pretty simple. It's not a crazy difficult thing. It's mostly about figuring out where the fish are and where they live. That's pretty much it, waiting for a bite. I know Trav's excited. Trav hasn't been out fishing for a while. It's pretty cold this morning. I think we, when we got out here, it was 30 degrees. So that's pretty darn cold for a September morning. Nonetheless, we are out here. There's a fish. All right, guys, just got a bite right now. First bite of the day, we're gonna go ahead and spot lock. Reel down to this fish. Fish on. All right put this ICX-5 to work guys. First fish is on. This is a different kind of drag. <laughs> Working good so far. Feels like a pretty, ooh, there's some ripping. Put that drag to work, baby. Yeah, that didn't take long. That's for sure. Doesn't feel like a giant giant, but feels like a pretty decent fish. It's pretty amazing. I mean, the line uptake isn't bad on this reel at all. It's handling the fish just fine. See what we got here. Ooh, that's a nice one. There's a nice smallie. Yeah. That's the kind of fall hogs we like to see right there. There we go, guys. Check out that Holy behemoth. Hell, that'll work. My fingers are my fingers are cold. Got cold finners. Well guys, I would guess that the fall feed bag is definitely on. If you check out that belly on that fish. What a tank, man. Big old smallie. How what we were fishing for, Trav, all of five minutes? Even. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a scale on this bad boy. See what we get. I'm guessing it's gonna be maybe just over four pounds, just shy of four pounds, maybe. 3.54. So that's not a bad start, guys. 3.54. But that is a fall tank. Look at that belly. Crazy. See you later, mama. All right, let's do it again. Hey, my my minnow's still alive. <laughs> I can reuse the minnow. Ice rail handled that surprisingly well. Dude, my hands are like numb. How surprised that ICX5 actually did pretty well. I mean, I figured it would, but. All right, guys, we just found a King Kong freaking sucker. This thing is probably, it's big. We're gonna throw this one out. Oh, crap, look at your pole then. Yeah, he's not, he's not tiny. And I'm pretty sure there's a fish on here already. What? Yep. Giant minnow just got eight. <laughs> get your, watch your stuff there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this fish here. Spot lock this. All right, fish on, guys. That was a big, oh, he spit it. Dang it. He spit it. Must've been a hungry smallmouth to eat that big old sucker. Big suckers, big weeds. 
But that is actually, these weeds are exactly why these smallmouth are here. Uh, and I know that doesn't sound right because smallmouth are usually not around weeds, but at the at this point that we're on, there's a very good rock weed mix of this stuff right here. And that's actually what these big smallmouth are living on right now. Got a smallie playing with my giant sucker. I don't know if he wants to eat it or if he wants to play with it. Big old sucker. I'm gonna reel down until we feel a good number of weight. And then we're gonna give it to him. There we go. Hooked up on the ICX5, baby. On a huge sucker was like seven inches long. That's gotta be a big one you can eat that yeah, you'd think so, but it's probably not. Probably just an average smallie. <laughs> just another three and a half, four pounder. Yeah, average. average. <laughs> that, honestly, though, guys, that's crazy when you're pulling an average of an 18 inch fish every single time. I mean, that's the average, guys, right there. That's an 18 inch fish all day long, and that's what we are catching almost every single time we drop down. It's pretty incredible. I mean, those are just huge smallies, yeah, no matter. Legs. No matter what you what you do or where you fish, that's a big smallmouth all day long. I'm sitting here explaining the trap, I'm like, yeah, I'm hitting rocks, rock, rock, rock. All of a sudden, my rod tip just gets slammed. There's another one under the boat, trap. Drop under the boat. I'm right under, I'm right by it. There's another one down there too. Let's see if we can get this one. There's one. There we go. Come on, double up. <laughs> Come on, double up. Oh, I got one. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can make the double up happen. If you felt something, it should be a fish because we're straight up and down. Yep. <laughs> you can net your own fish. <laughs> you can net your own stupid smallmouth. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I mean, this this ice reel, honestly, other than like not having as much line uptake, it performs just as well as any other reel I use to do this. There we go. Just out here catching. You know, cookie cutter, cookie cutter, three and a half, four pound smallies. When you catch a fish that big, and you want bigger, <laughs> I mean that's crazy, guys. Absolutely nuts. And that circle hook, honestly, it's in the right place every time when you hook them. I mean, every single time. Just beautiful, fat, huge fall smallies. So we came out here today with full intentions of beating up on this ICX5 catching big smallmouth. Well, as you can see, we definitely did that. So now we're gonna take it one step further and we're gonna hook this ICX-5 up to my boat and Trav is gonna let this baby rip and we're gonna just burn the drag. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take a look on the inside and see what everything looks like. Let's go. But we don't have a whole lot of options. I think our best option is gonna be tying it to the seat pylon right here. I'm using 12 pound braid, so it should be fine to do the drag test. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen now is we've got that tied to the seat post. Trav is gonna go on shore right up here and he's going to hold it and GoPro the action as this thing rips drag and I'm gonna take off here from the shoreline. So uh, I've never done one like this. We use the truck, we use no. the four wheeler. Uh, never used the boat yet. We use a snowmobile. snowmobile. Yeah, yep. never used the boat yet though. So this one will be interesting. So let's, uh, let's see what this little ICX-5 can handle. Ready to rock. <laughs> just jumps right in the water not a care in the world all right so i'm gonna turn this around now and uh we should be able to get this going no problem well are we good there and give her a rip and see what happens it's gonna be interesting if there's enough line on this thing probably gonna end up stripping the line off the icx5 <laughs> it's not a very big spool here he goes here we go Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we're running out of line. We're almost out of line, we're almost out of line. There it goes. Oh, and there she went. <laughs> oh. Trying to tell him that it's out of line. <laughs> I do not think there's any more line on here. Holy cow, is it ripping or what? Well, so basically what I gotta do now is I got the line here. So I'm just gonna ravel this line back up on here on our way back to Trav. Be interesting to see what this footage looks like of this thing. Well, guys, that's uh, that's what happens when you rip the drag on an ice reel. It doesn't have a very big capacity. <laughs> we ripped the braid right off the reel, but that was a sick test. Curious to take this apart and see what the insides look like. Well, guys, we uh, we took it apart, and it's crazy when you actually look at the drag dish. You can see right here, there's no scarring. I mean, the carbon is perfectly in place, just like it should be. And that was, I mean, a heck of a test. We ripped the drag until the line got ripped out. I mean, that was easy. What do you think, Trav? Probably 90 yards or so? 
easily 90 to 100 yards and they look fantastic so that was definitely passing with flying colors especially after getting beat up all day by big smallmouth well guys that was a pretty awesome test as you can hear I'll let, I'll let you hear this that drag is still perfectly intact um i'm impressed i mean for a little tiny ice reel this thing is never going to see that amount of, of abuse in its lifetime on the ice so it was pretty cool to come out and test this i've never tested the drag on this reel like that which is awesome it handles small he's amazing other than not having the the large capacity spool and the gear ratio so i couldn't take up line as fast so i just sped up a little bit but other than that the drag held up perfect there was no flexing in the reel um and we caught definitely some big smallies at a four pound smallmouth. so worked very well so the icx5 will continue to be a staple for the ice season and that's right around the corner guys we got a little bit of fall fishing left and then we'll be on early ice with this bad boy if you guys like this video please go below give me a like drop me a comment don't forget to subscribe and also hit that notification bell that way every week when we upload twice a week you'll get the notification and be able to enjoy all the content that we're putting out hope you guys have a great day we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button Head on over, check us out on Instagram, and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you on the water next time.